morning, I'm Elizabeth Courtright, Vice President of the Friends of Cherry Valley, and we are here at headquarters to do a little story that I wrote and my two friends are going to present it, Gabe and Olivia. We hope you'll enjoy the story. Hi, my name's Gabe. I'm in fifth grade. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm in fifth grade too. Boy the Bog Turtle and his adventures at the Cherry Valley National Wildlife Refuge. Think about a wetland. Land that has wet and spongy soil that is open and sunny. There are grassy hummocks, low rounded mounds that are higher than the general level of a marshy area, in the shallow, low, water and wet, mucky, dirty soil around the hummocks. In this habitat, a place where a plant or animal naturally lives, a thimble sized egg lies in a nest on top of a sedge. Coarse grassy plant that grows in wet ground. Tussock, a thick clump of sedge. As the sun warmed the egg, a tiny bug turtle hatch came out. Turtles have their homes on their back. It's called a shell. They can pull their head, legs, and tail in tight against their shell to protect themselves. We will call this turtle Boyd. Let's join Boyd. It was a lovely, warm, sunny day, and Boyd basked. Lay in the sun to warm himself because he is cold-blooded. Not producing body heat. Body temperature varies with the surrounding air and water temperatures. Boyd was hungry. He was very small because he had just hatched out, so he had to find very small food to eat. When he was grown, he would be the size of the palm of your hand, and he would eat slugs, worms, insects, seeds, and berries. He climbed off the tussock on an adventure to find food. As Boyd moved slowly along, he was happy because he found a tiny worm to eat. He heard birds singing and saw footprints of a deer. It was getting easier for him to walk because the ground was getting drier and there were no grassy hummocks for him to have to walk over or try to climb over. But there was no mud for him to hide in. Someone had drained the water out and filled in the wetland, making a place to build a house and put in a road. Boyd was sad because he could not find any food to eat on the hard road. Suddenly a car stopped and out jumped a child who excitedly called, I found a turtle! Boyd didn't know what to do because there was no soft mud or grass for him to hide in. He felt himself being picked up. He was so very scared. Was this person going to eat him? The child took him into the car and drove off. Boyd wondered if he was ever going to see his home again. People drove to their friend Mike's house. The child got out and proudly showed off Boyd. Mike said that Boyd was a nice looking turtle, but the child would have to take him back and put him where he had been found. Mike explained that all wild creatures should be left in the wild. They needed a certain habitat, a place that had the kind of food and homes they need to survive. So Boyd was taken back to his home. He continued to search for food and was lucky to find some berries. As he walked along, he saw beautiful orchid flowers called lady slippers. They liked living in the wetland. Boyd realized that a lot of other creatures shared his wetland home. There were frogs and salamanders and beautiful butterflies. As Boyd got older and grew bigger, he ventured further from his home and met different kinds of turtles. The wood turtle spent a lot of time on land and was shades of brown, so it was camouflaged. Colored soil blends in with its surroundings. The painted turtle likes ponds and has bright yellow and red stripes on its and spots on its head neck and legs. Most, most interesting was the box turtle who had bright starbursts of color on its back and a hinge on its bottom shell so it can pull its head, legs, and tail in and close the bottom shell against the top shell. A small turtle like Boyd has many predators, creatures who would like to eat him. Boyd sees a raccoon and knows that he must hide deep in the wet muck so that the raccoon won't find him. It is fall and the weather is getting colder. Winter will soon be here. Boyd must find an underground chamber where he can go to hibernate. Spend the winter in a deep sleep. Sleep tight, Boyd. We will see you in the spring when you wake up.